Hi, welcome back to the kitchen. Continuing with our cooking for teenagers, we're going to do potato pancakes. Could be referred to as potato fritters, possibly. Um, and I'm going to show you how you could serve them a bit more flash for a little entree, but you could also just serve them with um, a meat component and some vegetables as another alternative. So, in my bowl already, I have two tablespoons of milk. To that, I'm going to add two whole eggs. And what we're doing here is virtually creating a batter. So in go the two eggs, whisk, just to break the eggs down. To that I'm going to add salt and pepper, and again we're using potatoes, so they usually take quite a bit of seasoning, so be sort of not overly generous with your salt, but it they do need that bit of salt. We're also adding a wee bit of curry powder for a bit of spice. And in goes our onion. Now you can either dice your onion or leave it in strips as I have. So again, mix those together. Now the last thing you do is basically add your potatoes because you don't want them to go brown. So I'm going to put my fry pan on the heat, get that heated. I've got some potatoes I've just pre-peeled and we're going to grate them. And you have to work quite quickly because they will start to oxidise once they've come out of the cold water. So between sort of three and four potatoes for this sort of quantity of mixture. I might just do a couple to show you what how to do them. So then in goes the potatoes into our batter mixture with the addition of couple of tablespoons of flour and what we're going to do now is we're going to mix that all together so of course the flour is going to combine with those eggs to create a wee bit of a batter so that's nicely mixed together we're going to add our oil to our pan, so we need a little bit across the bottom. We need to have a tray somewhere beside us with some kitchen paper so we can drain our fritters on them. And then using a spoon, we're going to spoon spoonfuls of our pancake batter into the hot oil. Don't overcrowd your pan. So you can see how quickly they crisp up. But again, that's them actually not cooked. So they're actually not cooked in the middle. We're getting the outside nice and crispy. But I don't know if the camera can pick this up. When we use our fish slice to press, you can see that batter coming through. So that's a little trick that I do, is actually to press that down to expel some of that batter that's actually in the centre of the fritter. Because there's no use cutting into that and having it nice and crispy on the outside and then you get this raw batter in the centre. So you want to keep turning them over. We don't want to have them black. We want a nice golden brown. But again, we want the centres to be cooked as well. So it's just a matter of regulating your heat. You'll be familiar with your own stoves and what that takes to have them working at the right temperature. But it is a matter of just keeping, keep turning them. So I'm going to be serving these with some cold smoked salmon, which I've just brought in the supermarket already sliced, and a nice dollop of sour cream. And again, it's not another sort of classic um, sort of combination. Um, you could make tiny little ones of these, little tiny potato pancakes and stir a little bit of salmon on top and they could be a little finger food for a party. But we're going to serve these sort of either as a main course or an entree size or as I said if you imagine one of these with your meal at night time there's your potato 
component. So as I said, just keep turning them. You can see now, as I'm pressing these, I'm not getting much of the batter come through. So I know the centres are going to be okay. We'll bring over our presentation plate. to our kitchen paper to drain. So what we can do now is onto our plate, I'm going to put just a wee dollop of sour, sour cream on that one, the next one on top little chef trick, I mean, a wee bit crusty around the outside, put that one in the middle so no one can see that, and then your nice one goes on, on top. And then another good dollop of the sour cream. It's going to come off my spoon. And then you can just drape on some of the smoked salmon on top, and a nice little grind of pepper just to finish it off. There you have our wonderful potato pancakes finished off with our smoked salmon and sour cream.